Hey everyone, I'm Justin and I am super excited because I got another letter in the mail. I want to travel to all sorts of different places around the world someday. So right now, I figure I might as well learn as much as I can about all these different places. And what better way to learn than by asking people who actually live there. So I've been writing all sorts of letters to kids all around the world to try to find out more about the different places on our planet. How cool is it to discover what life is like for families and for kids, just like you, who live in an entirely different part of the world? So I got another letter today, and I am super excited to share it with you on today's episode of Let's Take a Journey, Tanzania. Okay, let's get into it. You ready? Dear Justin, my name is Daniel. I hope this letter gets to you okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Daniel, we got it right here. I live in a city called Arusha. My country is Tanzania. Can you guess what continent Tanzania is on? Here are a few hints. Number one. We're known for our elephants, giraffes, apes, rhinos, and cheetahs. Number two, it's the second biggest continent in the world. Number three, it's home to 54 different countries. Number four, the longest river in the world flows through this continent. And number five, about 2,000 different languages are spoken here. Can you guess? Now, we know that Daniel lives in the country of Tanzania, but these clues are all about the continent it's on. Just like how you probably live in the country of the United States, which is located in the continent of North America. So these are some pretty good clues. Do you have any guesses? If you said Africa, you're right. Tanzania is one of the many different countries found on the continent of Africa. All right, let's get back to reading. My house is made of cement blocks. It stays cool in the hot sun. My house is small, but we have many neighbors. We share an outdoor kitchen with other families. It can be fun, especially when the other mamas are good cooks. This is a picture of my cat, Simba. Ah, hello, Simba. Now, a lot of you are probably familiar with the name Simba because it's the name of a lion in a very famous movie. But did you know that Simba is the Swahili word for lion? Now you know a word in the Swahili language. Simba, lion. People in Tanzania like to spend time with family. I live with my mom and my sister, Deborah. This is a picture of my sister. My aunt and uncle live with us too. I took this picture of my uncle while he was working. My uncle likes to tell me stories about what it was like when he was growing up. Hey, my uncle does that too. I guess families are pretty similar no matter where you're from, huh? My grandparents live in the Shamba. They're farmers. They raise goats and grow corn. I like when they come visit us in the city to get supplies like flour, sugar, and rice. My mom works as a secretary. She works in town. Arusha is a busy city. Guess what? I can see Mount Meru from my window. Wow, Mount Meru is a really tall mountain in Tanzania. The tallest mountain there though is Mount Kilimanjaro. You can see the snow-capped mountain in the distance here. I wonder what it's like to be able to see mountains from your house. I know that there's places like that in the United States too. Are you able to see mountains from your house? Trees, grass? When you look outside, what do you see? 
Okay, let's get back to Daniel. Sometimes my mom takes us into town with her. We see many people selling food and other goods along the streets. These little shops are called dukas. My sister and I usually get a special treat from our favorite duka, a cold bottle of orange soda. Oh, that sounds delicious, especially on a hot day. Did I tell you that I'm nine years old? I'm in the fourth grade. My teacher's name is Mr. John. There are 26 kids in my class. My best friend sits next to me. His name is Moses. Sometimes we laugh too much and get in trouble. My friend Bush took this picture of me and Moses fooling around outside. Wow, Daniel sounds a lot like me when I was in fourth grade. I wonder what he's learning in school, let's see. Can you guess what my favorite subject is? I like to learn about space and the planets. I also like learning about animals. My favorite subject is, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, let me guess, let me guess. Space, animals? I think his favorite subject is science. My favorite subject is science! Just go to We learn English and Swahili. Here are a few Swahili words for you. Oh, super fun. I love learning new words in different languages. Let's see what he's got. Safari means trip. Tembo is the word for elephant. Gari is car. And Jambo is hello. And don't forget, we learned Duka earlier. Duka is Swahili for shop. We have two school guards who are Maasai. They are very tall and strong. I see them every morning. Uh, the Maasai are a group of people who live in Africa. I think I remember learning about them a bit in school. They have this tradition, the ceremony, where all the men get together and jump up and see who can jump the highest. And whoever does, gets to pick which girl they want to marry. I wonder what would happen if we tried to do that in the US. Daniel's got a bit more to say, so let's keep going. I like making model airplanes. Have you ever made one? You know, making a model airplane is just one of those things that I've always wanted to do, but I just never have. I think it sounds like a fun weekend activity. I also like football. You call it soccer but here we call it football. Yep, that's true. We Americans call the game soccer, but in Tanzania and most other countries, they call it football. Ooh, Daniel's gonna tell us all about the different foods he eats. That's exciting. My mom loves to cook. Sometimes she goes to the market and gets us fresh fish. Most of the time she makes us bananas with meat or rice and beans. We have a big dinner every Sunday, because that's when our other grandma comes over. And she makes us mendazi. Ooh, mendazi is like this sweet fried dough. It's kind of like a donut. Uh, with like powdered sugar on top, and it's hot and crispy on the outside, but soft and doughy on the inside. Oh, it's super yummy. Have you ever had ugali? It's our national dish. It's made from cornmeal, and we use it to dip into gravy or sauce with meat. You know, I have had ugali before, once at a friend's house. It's made of this white cornmeal, and it's kind of formed into a ball. You, you use it kind of like a spoon to dip into the sauce or the gravy, and it's oh, it's so good. All right, so now we know a bit more about what Daniel likes to eat. Let's see what else he has written. After school, I walk home with my sister and my good friend Bush. This is Bush in the red and gray striped shirt. <laughs> Jumbo, everybody. Remember, Jumbo means hello in Swahili. First, I do my chores when I get home from school. Then I do my homework. On the weekends, we visit family in Moshi. Moshi is a city near Mount Kilimanjaro. Remember, we talked a little bit about Mount Kilimanjaro already. It's the tallest mountain in Africa. I have homework to do now, so I will stop writing this letter. I hope you enjoyed learning all about my beautiful country, Tanzania. Please write back. I'd love to learn more about the United States. Your friend, Daniel.
Ah, oh, what a nice letter from Daniel. I loved learning all about the different things about him and his family and what life is like there. What about Daniel's life do you think is different from yours? Can you think of anything that's pretty much the same? So that about wraps up our journey to Tanzania for today. Ready to stamp our passport? <clears throat> so I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, remember to always be clever. Hey.